Well, South African musician Johnny Clegg, who was one of the loudest voices in pop, pop during the anti-apartheid movement in the 1980s, has died at age 66 after a battle with pancreatic cancer. The white Zulu, so named for his use of indigenous South African music and dance, is being widely mourned in South Africa. Viewers Anita Powell reports from Johannesburg. Johnny Clegg, known as the White Zulu, was, to the end, proudly South African. The white singer broke boundaries in apartheid South Africa by borrowing from Zulu culture, a move that challenged social and legal norms at the time. That, he said, was the point. I was always a bridge uh, for, for white people uh, into the possibility of connecting with, you know, n another culture in not in an academic way, but in a, in a sensuous engagement and, sh and, and mode of sharing uh, uh, and, and joy and, and, and just getting, um, getting that connection. His bandmate, Sipo Kunu, met him 50 years ago. Together they founded the band Jaluka, and Kunu taught him how to dance and stick fight. But he says he too learned from the man he said was more than a brother. Uh, you know, I never been to the school. I can't read and write. So he made me understand the um, uh, white people, a little bit of the culture. What, what, uh, you, you see, he helped me a lot with that, all those things. I helped him too, uh, but it's, to me, it doesn't look like, uh, I, I don't feel like the, when the people are saying, oh, you teach him a lot. I said, he teach me a lot also. So in Zulu, we call that uh, Izanda Ziadeza, the, the, the hand he, he was, he's not his. his loss is also deeply felt on the streets of Johannesburg. You can compare it to any international performance, you know, like, for instance, Queen was a true performer, you know, uh, a true artist. Um, so was Johnny Clegg, you know. He captured the imagination of the people. He told a beautiful story. And Young musician Nipa Mubaiwa said she is inspired by her mother's love for the singer. When we speak about legends and icons, we're actually speaking about people like Johnny Clegg, people like Freddie Mercury, and, and, and. So I think for me, that's a really iconic moment. And you know that you created such a big impact when you pass away, and so many people are just in, uh, at a state of shock because of the amount of impact that you had on their lives. Part-time musician Kunar Sekula says Clegg left a deep impression. They do that Zulu dance and talking. Johnny Clegg was the best. He was a super musician, yeah? He was a legend. Although the white Zulu died Tuesday at age 66, his music, Kula says, will live on forever. Anita Powell, VOA News, Johannesburg. Well, and that's our show for today. You can find all the continent's top news and world news online at viewafrica.com. Check it out. Vincent McCorn in Washington, Chamberlain also has our last word from Lagos. Well, thanks, Vincent. We look forward to bringing you another show next week. But well, don't forget, ChannelTV.com is your source for news and other programming. I'm Chamberlain, so thank you for watching. Goodbye.